So today is a very wonderful day, the appearance of Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Prabhu Ki So Nityananda Prabhu, as we know, was uh, appeared in Eka Chakra Dham. How many have been to Eka Chakra? So Eka Chakra is a very amazing place and Nityananda Prabhu grew up there. As he grew up, he was doing so many dramas from the Ramayan, from uh, Krishna Leela. And the dramas, when he would do the dramas, they were so lifelike. That the villagers would come to Nityananda Prabhu and say, It seems like you were there. Of course, Nityananda Prabhu was there. Because Rajendra Sutta say, Sachi Sutta Hoyo say, Baladam Hoyo Nithai. That Krishna came to this world as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Balaram came as Nityananda Prabhu. So indeed, Nityananda Prabhu was there, the immediate expansion of the Lord. And like this, he grew up in Eka Chakra Dham, but at 12 years old, a very amazing thing happened. Nityananda Prabhu's father, Hadai Pandey, he was a very pious person, so he would love to serve the sadhus. And when one great sadhu came to his home, then he served him very nicely. And then Hadai Pandey said, anything I can do for you? And the sadhu said, just one small thing. So when a sadhu says one small thing, then you know it's going to be a big thing. In like a needle, out like a plow. So the sadhu said, just one small thing. Your son is very beautiful, Nityananda. Maybe he can come and travel with me. The parent's greatest nightmare, that the son would leave home. So what could Hadai Pandit do? He had no... Uh, answer back. He had to say, yes, I have to keep my word. So like this, Nityananda Prabhu traveled. And he traveled to many, many holy places. Nityananda Prabhu ended up in Vrindavan. Today, if you go to Vrindavan, then there's a very wonderful place for Nityananda Bhak, a tree where Nityananda Prabhu used to be. And there in uh, Vrindavan, Nityananda Prabhu was waiting. He was waiting for Lord Goranga to manifest his Sankirtan pastimes. Lord Goranga, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, was growing up in Navadvipa. He was growing up as Nimai Pandit, the scholar. So he was more interested in study than the chanting of the holy name. But then in Lord Goranga's life, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life, a very amazing event happened when he went to Gaya. Because when he went to Gaya, then he met Ishvara Puri, his spiritual master. And Ishvara Puri looked at Nimai Pandit. And he said, Murka to me, Toma Nahik Vedan Dadikar, Krishna Mantra Japa Sada A Mantra Sad. He said, You think you know so many Shastras, you think you know so many things? You're a Murk, you're a fool. Krishna Mantra Japa Sada A Mantra Sad. Just take Krishna's name. This is the Sad, this is the essence of everything. And if you take this name of Krishna, then you will find Krishna. So Mahaprabhu took that name. He went chanting. He came back to Ishvara Puri after some time. And he said, Kiba mantra dile gosai, kiba tarabal. Japite japite mantra, korite pagal. Kiba mantra dile gosai, what kind of mantra haven't you given me? Kiba tarabal, how powerful is this mantra? Japite Japite Mantra, I'm chanting this mantra again and again. Karila Pabra, and I'm becoming completely mad. So Ishwara Puri said, good, it's working. <laughs> so Mahaprabhu like this went back to Navadri. And as soon as the news reached to Nityananda Prabhu that Mahaprabhu has come back to Navadri as a devotee, the Nityananda Prabhu said, okay, now it's time to go to Navadri. See, Mahaprabhu was already in Navadrip. Srivas Thakur was already in Navadrip. Advaita Acharya was in Shantipur and also coming to Navadrip. The only person missing from the Panchatattva was Nityananda Prabhu. So Nityananda traveled from Vrindavan and he came to Navadrip area and he came to a place called Nandanacharya Bhavan. 
he came to the home of Nandana Acharya and there he was waiting. So as he was waiting in that home, then Lord Goranga knew Nityananda Prabhu has come. So who did he send? He sent Srivas Thakur and Haridas Thakur. And he said to them, go and find my immediate expansion, my other half, my life and soul. Nityananda Prabhu, go and find him. Srivas and Haridas went all over Navadvip, many, many places, to every nook and corner. But somehow or other, they could not find Nityananda. It's a very interesting point because who is Srivas Thakur in his original position? Narad Muni. And who is Haridas Thakur in his original position? Brahma. Narad Muni is the most traveled person in the universe. And Brahma is the creator of the universe. So if you want to find something in the universe, there's no better person than the one who's traveled everywhere and the one who created it. But even the one who traveled everywhere and even the one who created it, even they could not find Nityananda. So they came back. They said, Goranga, there's no Nityananda. We would know. Goranga said, no, no, he has come. I feel Nityananda's energy. And then Lord Goranga took Srivas and Haridas and they went to Nandana Acharya Baba and there was a very wonderful meeting of uh, Goranga and Nityananda. So this is a very important lesson for us. We cannot find Nityananda out ourselves. And Nityananda represents who? Guru. Because Nityananda is Adi Guru. So just as you cannot find Nityananda by your own endeavors, you cannot find Guru by your own endeavors. Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. Only when you get Krishna's mercy, only when you get Goranga's mercy, then you get all opportunity to come in contact with Nityananda and you get all opportunity to come in contact with Guru. So like this, the Panchatattva came together and it was an explosion of Harinam Sankirtan in Navadri. Patra patra vicharna hina histan astan jere jane paye tane kare pre madhan They never considered we'll go here or we'll go there. This person is good or this person is bad. Wherever they went, they gave Krishna praying to everyone. So Nityananda and Goranga inundated the world with Harinam Sankirtan. Did you know that Nityananda and Goranga's pastimes are going on even today? Goranga and Nityananda are active, they're alive. Their pastimes are taking place even before us today, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says. That Goranga's pastimes are going on even now. Only a very fortunate person will be able to see. If you go to a place in, uh, near to Mayapur called Ambika Kalna, it's a very, very famous place because there, there was a great devotee named Goridas Pandit. And Goridas Pandit, even during the time of Chaitanya and Nityananda, had installed deities of Chaitanya and Nityananda. So one day there was a big kirtan going on and Goridas Pandit was on the altar and he was worshipping his deities of Goranga and Nityananda. So the kirtan was going loud, ecstatic. He was worshipping with all the different items. And then he noticed that the kirtan just went up to the next level. So he looked back and as he looked back he saw that Goranga and Nityananda had actually come into the kirtan. So now there was Goranga and Nityananda on the altar and there was actual Goranga and Nityananda in the kirtan. And he was trying to offer arti. I mean, imagine trying to keep your concentration. So he was offering the arti and then at one point the kirtan just went so ecstatic that Goranga and Nityananda from the altar jumped off the altar and they jumped into the kirtan. So now there were two sets of Gornitai in the Kirtan. And as Gornitai jumped off the altar and Goridas Pandit was offering and they jumped off. 
So then he jumped off as well and he started chasing Goranga and Nithyananda in the kirat and telling them, you go back on the altar. <laughs> so as he was chasing them around and around the kirtan, then Goranga, I don't know which one, but one of the Gorangas, he jumped into the heart of one devotee called Rigayananda. He jumped into his heart. And that devotee became known as Rigai Chaitanya. And later on, Goranga and Nityananda came back onto the altar. So now if you go to Ambika Kalna today, then you can go and see Goranga and Nityananda, those deities. But there's a catch. They open the curtain. You can see for some time. And then they close, just in case, just in case, Goranga may, Nityananda may just jump off the altar again. The great devotees, they are interacting with Goranga and Nityananda even now. There was one great devotee in the time of Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, his name was Vamsidas Babaji. He was an Avadut, someone you will not be able to understand. He had six deities and he would worship them all day long and he would only be speaking to his deities. So if you asked him a question, then he would reply to you, but he would reply to you by talking to his deities. So he's a very transcendental person. So he was worshipping different deities, but even his worship of the deities was also spontaneous. So sometimes he would feed, sometimes he wouldn't feed. Sometimes he would dress them, Sometimes he wouldn't dress them. Sometimes he would sing for the deities and sometimes he would argue with the deities. One day one devotee came to Vamsidas Babaji and he said, Babaji, six deities, all these deities you have, you haven't offered any boga for three days. How you worship deities like this? You haven't offered boga for three days. He said, look, my first set of deities, Gorgadadar. If they're hungry, then Gadada can cook for Goranga. He said, my third deity is Gopal. Every day a cow is coming here and giving so much milk. If he's hungry, he can go and get some milk. My other set of deities, Radha and Krishna, I don't feed them because all the time they're going here and there to Vrindavan in the forest. I don't know where they are. I can't keep track of them. <laughs> and my other deity, Nityananda, he is an Avadut, I am an Avadut, we are on the same page. No problem. <laughs> that was his answer. So the great devotees are actually interacting with Nityananda Prabhu even today. One time Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he was in his room and in the middle of the night he jumped up. He was in the Navadip area and he ran out of the house. And then he came back in the house shouting, Did you see? Did you see? All well, the devotees were sleeping. Did you see what? We were sleeping. He said, You didn't see? You didn't see Goranga and Nityananda and the Sankirtan party coming through? They just came. But Tizdanta Saraswati Thakur was seeing. So Goranga and Nityananda are the amazing benediction for Kali Yuga. Because the Bhagavatam says, Kaler Doshani De Rajan Asti He Ko Mahan Guna Kirtanadeva Krishna Sya Mukta Sangha Padam This time is the worst time. It's the time of all faults. It's the time of all hypocrisy. It's the time when people just cannot get along with each other. Asti He Ko Mahan Guna But there's one great quality. And what's that great quality? Kirtana Deva Krishna Sya. If you do Krishna Kirtan, Mukta Sangha, Param Rajat, then you will be free from all of this influence of Kali Yuga. And you will find um, amazing happiness. So, in this song sung by Lochandas Thakur, Lochandas Thakur was a great devotee. He wrote a book called Chaitanya Mangal. And in this Chaitanya Mangal, he gives many, many beautiful pastimes of Lord Chaitanya that even we don't read in Chaitanya Charitamrita or Chaitanya Bhagavata. So in this song he says, Parama Karuna Pahudui Jana Nitai Gauda Chandra that Nitai and Gauranga are Parama Karuna. They are the most merciful. You see, Gauranga is known as Karuna Avatar. 
Karuna means mercy. So you see, there are different types of mercy and there are different words for mercy. One word for mercy is Karuna. Another word for mercy is Kripa. But each of these words have a different meaning. Mercy that you have to ask for. Gurudev, Kripa Bindu Diya. Oh Gurudev, please give me your mercy. But Karuna means mercy that you don't even have to ask for. Mercy which comes causelessly. Mercy, mercy which comes even to an unqualified person. So Goranga and Nityananda are overflowing with this mercy. Most of the time if you go to Mayapur and you want to get the mercy of Ganga, then you have to come down from your room, you have to walk across Mayapur temple, and then you have to go to the bank, and then you have to take bath in the Ganga. But there are certain times of the year when the Ganga overflows. And then you don't need to go anywhere, it's coming into your room. Even if you're so spaced out that you can't get up, then even then you will get the mercy of Ganga while in bed. This is Karuna. Mercy which is just overflowing. So Goranga is giving, Goranga and Nityananda are giving so much mercy. In our temple in Scotland, they knew that Goranga was very, very merciful. So for many years they had a campaign to try to get as many people as possible to say Goranga. So many, many things they used to do. They used to get uh, tens of thousands of email addresses. And then they used to spam the emails, chant Goranga and be happy. At one point there was, some, uh, there was a list, list on the FBI. And they said, this is some email virus, Goranga. We're not quite sure what it's about. Be careful. So they were doing that. Once one of the devotees, he met uh, one of these computer game programmers. So he convinced him about Goranga. So if you ever play Grand Theft Auto, then at one point a Hare Krishna may appear. And if you run over the Hare Krishna, then on the screen it will say, Goranga. <laughs> and then uh, on the bridges you've seen, they were putting Goranga everywhere. So on every bridge you would go, Goranga everywhere. Once I was distributing books and I said to someone after giving him a book, I said, and say Goranga, can you say Goranga? He said, Goranga, I know Goranga. I said, you know Goranga? He said, yeah, Goranga, that's that company that makes the motorway bridges. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> but yes, Goranga is building a bridge. Building a bridge, yes, Goranga is building a bridge back to the spiritual world. And that's why Paramakaruna, once they asked Jayapataka Maharaj, how do you get Nityananda Prabhu's mercy? You know what Maharaj said? How can you escape Nityananda Prabhu's mercy? How can you escape? Once you show some inclination, then Nityananda Prabhu is very involved in your life. Shower you with mercy. So Goranga and Nityananda, what to say? You know what Kaviraj Goswami says in Chaitanya Charitamrita? Very heavy statement. Anyone who does not believe in Lord Goranga is a demon. How do you explain that one? You know anyone who doesn't know Goranga? Would you say they're a demon? Kaviraj Goswami says they're a demon. There are many ways to explain this. But one of the ways you can explain it is like this. What is a demon? What's the Sanskrit word for demon? Asura. asura. So what is Asura? Ashushu Ramate Iti Asura. Ashushu Ramate Iti Asura. Ashushu means senses. Ramate means to play or to indulge or to gratify. Iti Asura. Anyone who engages in sense gratification is a demon. So one who does not follow or understand or accept or embrace Goranga is ultimately a demon because 
Goranga is the only one who came to this world to give a process which is so powerful, which gives you such a higher taste that you're able to give up sense gratification. Without the process of Harinam, without the higher taste that comes from Krishna Kirtan, we'll never be able to give up sense gratification. And in that way, if we don't accept Gurnitai, if we don't accept the process that they've given, then factually we will be engaged in sense gratification. And then, Ashur Shuramate, Iti Ashura, then you're a demon. Here Lao Chandas Thakur says, Sabayavatar, Sarasi Romani, Kevala Ananda Kanda. That of all incarnations, Sabayavatar, Sarasi Romani, Gornitai are the crest jewel, the essence of all incarnations. If you read a book called Chaitanya Chandramrita, written by Prabodhananda Saraswati, that book should go with like a rating, 18. Because Prabodhananda Saraswati is so in love with Gornitai that he makes very strong statements. And in one of the verses he says, What benefit did the world get when Lord Ram came and killed so many demons? What was the use of Varahadev coming and saving the universe from the nether regions? What was the uh, benefit when Lord Nishinga Dev came and was in such a fierce form? I do not consider any of these incarnations to be very important. The most important is that Lord Goranga and Nityananda have come to this world to give the process of Harinam Sankirtan. So that doesn't mean we have to understand it in context. These, all these avatars are amazing. But of all avatars, Goranga and Nityananda are the Sadasi Ramani, the Christ Jew, because they gave something so special. And the process that they gave was Kevala Ananda Kanda, just uh, pure happiness, pure bliss. We may say that I'm practicing Krishna consciousness, but I don't feel. I don't feel that bliss, I don't feel blissed out every day. But actually, as we practice, Bhagavatam says, Ahaituki apratihata yayatma suprasidati. If you're not happy in devotional service, it means your devotional service is not unmotivated and it's not uninterrupted. Because if you perform uninterrupted, unmotivated devotional service, Yayatma superseded thee, you will feel such great happiness, such great satisfaction, that's for sure. Uh, an amazing happiness that comes from spiritual life. One of our sannyasis was going through Heathrow Airport and uh, he was walking through the customs. Do you know when you walk through the customs you have to keep a straight face, otherwise they stop you. So he was walking through and then boom, they stopped him. I think like there's so many dodgy people here, why stop me? <laughs> so they took him into the other room and then they opened the suitcase. They're like, there's only bed sheets in this suitcase, like what do you wear? There was nothing, there was just some dotties and just some books, they searched everything, nothing dodgy. It was there, they closed up the suitcase, he was walking off. And then he looked back at them and he said, but why did you stop me? There's so many people here, you could have stopped. Why did you stop me? You look too happy. <laughs> Before you must be on something. <laughs> said, no, no, this is a different type of happiness. So it is such a happy process. Srila Prabhupada said, if you're not happy, if you're not happy in spiritual life, then it means you're in Maya. Because you can't be in Krishna consciousness, you can't be in the vibration of the Holy Name and not be happy. So Lochan Das Thakur says, Bajo Bajo Bhai, Chaitanya Nitai, Sudrida Vishwa Shakori. And this really then is our problem, Sudrida Vishwa Shakori. That Lochan Das Thakur is saying, worship Gornitai with faith, with conviction, with your heart. You see, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami was once in his home and a great devotee, Minikatan Ram, got offended. And when he was offended by the priest in the home of uh, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, 
Then Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami felt so bad. He felt a Vaishnava has been offended in my home. If a Vaishnava is offended, then we will lose everything. So that night he went to sleep, but he couldn't get to sleep because he was just thinking, a Vaishnava got offended. And as he was coming in and out of sleep, full of worry, then Nityananda Prabhu came to him in a dream. Hare Hare Krishna Das, Nakara Hai, Vrindavana Yahata Sarvala Bhai. In a dream, Nityananda Prabhu came to him and said, Hare Hare Krishna Das, oh my dear Krishna Das, Nakara Hai, don't worry about anything. Vrindavana Yahata go to Vrindavan, Sarvala Hai, and there you'll get everything. So next morning he woke up, go to Vrindavan, but what, where will I live? What will I do there? What will happen to my house, my family and everything? So many doubts may have been there, but because he got the instruction from Nityananda Prabhu, he just went, because he had faith. And just like that, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami left everything and he went to Vrindavan with such great faith because Nityananda Prabhu, Adi Guru, had given him that instruction. And then what happened in Vrindavan as time went by? Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami got the topmost residence in the whole universe. He got to stay in Radhakund at Manasapavan Ghat where he said that even Radharani today comes to bathe. What did he get in Vrindavan? He got the topmost association. He was associating with the Goswamis of Vrindavan and the great devotee followers of Lord Chaitanya. What did Kaviraj Goswami get in Vrindavan? He got the topmost service in the universe because the Vaishnava said to him, please write down all the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And there in Radhakund, Kaviraj Goswami was writing down all these books. So do you see, he got everything. He got the best association, he got the best place to stay, he got the best service, he got the best everything. Why? Because he had faith. Because he had faith in the instruction and the guidance of Nityananda Prabhu. So here Lauchan Das Thakur is saying, Bajo Bajo Bhai, Chaitanya Nitai, Sudri the Bishwa Shakuri. You have to have this faith that whatever Goranga and Nityananda are teaching, if I take it seriously, then there will be great benefit in my life. And then Lord Das Thakur says, Vishaya Chariya Seva Se Majiya Mukhe Bolo Hari Hari That if you really want the benefit from Goranga and Nityananda, then Vishaya Chariya Give up sense gratification. Give up material enjoyment. Because what often happens is we try to do spiritual life and material life together. Best of both worlds. Bit of happiness there, bit of happiness there, not losing out anywhere. You get the full mercy when you uh, give up sense gratification. Because Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Bhogeshwarya prashaktanam taya paharita chaitasham Vyavasayatmika buddhi samadhavana vidhiyate If you're interested in bhoga and aishvarya, if you're interested in enjoyment and opulence, samadhavana vidhiyate The resolute determination for devotional service will not take place. Every time we engage in sense gratification, then our focus in devotional service is reduced. So therefore, you have a devotee like Raghunath Das Goswami, who was ready to give up everything. He had money, he had opulence, he had a wonderful family, he had even a wonderful wife as well. Everything was there. But once he heard about Goranga and Nityananda, then he just wanted to run away from home and give up everything. So every day his parents were catching him and bringing him back. Then one day uh, his father, his mother said to his father that he's running away every day. Why don't you tie him here with chains? His father said he has 
All opulence, all the family, a wonderful wife, everything is there. If this won't keep him at home, chains won't keep him at home. But still he was going and coming, going and coming. Still he couldn't get the mercy, the full shout of Goranga. But then at one point he went to Panihati. And there Nityananda Prabhu put his feet on uh, Raghunath Das Goswami. And when he got Nityananda Prabhu's mercy, then he could fully uh, receive the shout of Goranga. Raghunath Das Goswami had that detachment had that renunciation. Kaviraj Goswami says, Mahaprabhu Bhakta Ganer Vairagya Pradhan Jahadeki Pritahana Gaura Bhagavan Mahaprabhu Bhakta Ganer Vairagya Pradhan Whether one is a householder, whether one is a brahmachari, sannyasi, Vairagya Pradhan, there must be detachment, there must be some element of renunciation in our life from sense gratification. Jahadeki when Mahaprabhu sees this, Pitahana Gaura Bhagavan, he becomes very happy and he sheds all, uh, shares all mercy with you. So therefore, Lauchandas Thakur is saying, Vishaya Chaliya, give up the uh, sense of joy. And then he says, Dekore Bhai, Tribhuvane Nai, Emana Dayala Data. That in these three worlds, you will not find anyone as merciful as Lord Gauranga. Sometimes there is a debate. Who is more merciful, Jagannath or Goranga? See, here on the altar, there is Jagannath and there is Goranga. Gornitai. So let's do a survey. Who thinks Gornitai are more merciful than Jagannath? And who are the Jagannath Bhaktas? <laughs> Both? How do we reconcile? Jagannath is so merciful. His eyes are always open. He's seeing what you're giving. He doesn't sleep. He's uh, ready to offer all, uh, accept all offerings. Jagannath is the one who comes out and gives his darshan to everyone. Jagannath is so merciful. In San Francisco, when Prabhupada started the first temple, uh, it was called New Jagannath Puri. So one time Prabhupada went for a program, it was a program of hippies. And as he walked into the room, the hippies, they were dancing on stage in banana suits. So Prabhupada walked into the room and he said, what's the meaning of this? So one devotee said to Prabhupada, that Prabhupada, the hippies have found out that if you take banana skin, don't try this at home by the way, if you take banana skin and if you dry it and prepare it under certain conditions and then you light it and you inhale the fumes, stay high forever. <laughs> it's like a cheap alternative to whatever they were taking, LSD and so on and so forth. So the hippies are celebrating that they have now a cheap alternative to stay high forever. So Prabhupada was kind of thinking, my God, when I came to America, I never knew I was going to be facing stuff like this. And then the devotee said, no, no, but Prabhupada, there's one good news. These hippies, every day they're donating three crates of bananas to Jagannath. But the only condition is, they want the banana skins back. <laughs> they don't want the banana, they want the banana skin. Prabhupada said, anyway, the fact that they're giving something to Jagannath means they'll get rid of it. So Jagannath is so merciful. But Goranga, Goranga, Namo Maha Vadanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayate, most munificent. The way it's reconciled is that Goranga and Nityananda are said to be the most merciful incarnations of the Lord, and Jagannath is said to be the most merciful deity of the Lord. So they're both most merciful. But Jagannath is the most merciful deity and Gauranitaya are the most merciful incarnations of Avatars. And then Lord Chindas Thakur says, Pashu Paki Jude, Pashana Vidare, Suni Jada Gunagata. That birds, beasts and even stones, they melt when they hear about Gauranga and Nityananda. 
Because that's what we are like. We are like stones. We have very hard hearts. Therefore, Bhagavatam says, Tadasma saram didayam patedam yadkriyamane harinam adhyayai that if despite chanting the holy name of Krishna, one's hairs don't stand on end, tears do not fall from someone's eyes, their body does not shiver, then it means they must have a heart which is steel framed. So factually, that is all of us. The only time that our hairs stand on end, tears from, fall from our eyes and our body is shaking is when we've got the flu, <laughs> coronavirus, but not when chanting the holy name of Krishna. But here, Lochan Das Thakur says, Pashu Paki Jure, Pashana Vigare. Even if you're a beast, even if you've got such an insensitive heart like a beast, even if you're stone, then even then, Goranga and Nityananda will gradually, by their process, melt your heart. And then finally, Dalchan Das Thakur says, Samsare Majiya Rohili Puriya Sepade Nahilo Asha. He's saying, I had access to this movement. I had access to Goranga and Nityananda and the Sankirtan movement, but my attraction never came about. The humility of the Acharyas is our reality. Of course, Dalchan Das Thakur's attraction came about. But he is basically taking our position and saying that although we had so many opportunities, although we got so much mercy, still our heart has not become captured by the Sankirtan movement. So he's saying, I'm very, very unfortunate. This is really uh, what Srila Prabhupada brought us. Uh, Goranga, Nityananda, the Sankirtan movement. And uh, we pray that our attraction for it will come about. Our attraction will come about when we engage in the process of Harinam Sankirtan, as Lachan Das Thakur says, with faith, giving up all sense gratification. Then we will find that we make very, very quick advancement and we actually feel that very tangible connection with Goranga and Nityananda on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So it's 9.35. Uh, We're already late. So should we finish then? Is there any question anyone has to ask? Yes. Prabhu, you said in your class, wonderful class, <clears throat> that Sura, 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 Ramate, Asura. Did I say right? Ashur, Shur, Ramate. So that means everybody's Asur. I, we know that we all are Shudras in this material world. So we are Asuras well because somewhere all of us have the tendency to... Yes, you see like uh, a demon is not just someone who has like three eyes, like two tusks, like a tail, is very fierce. You see, it's said in Satya Yuga, demons lived in different planets. In Dwarpa Yuga, they were living in the same planet, but in different families. Uh, so in Treta Yuga. In Dwarpa Yuga, they were living in the same family, but different individuals. And in Kali Yuga, in the same individual. So one moment, we're very, very divine. And then the next moment, we're like a demon. One moment, we're saying such sweet, sweet words, and then a few frogs may come out. A few not very nice things. One moment you're driving and then you let the grandma stop, let the grandma walk across the road and you think, I'm a very nice person. And then just down the road someone will cut into you and you'll be horning and beeping and swearing because we are going through this all the time. Therefore, the only way to overcome the demoniac tendency is by being uh, completely conquered by the Prem Sankirtan. Therefore, this is the only process that's so powerful that will overcome all of these anarthas. Practically, there's no other way in Kali Yuga. Other religious things we do, even other religious processes within the Vedic tradition, they will only go so far. Even deity worship is purifying, but it's still 
in this age will be difficult to transform ourselves simply by that. Therefore, everything we do in spiritual life ultimately it must be accompanied by Harinam. We worship the deities with Harinam also. We cook, but with Harinam, everything must go with Harinam because this is Kalau Nasteva 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 Kutiranita is all the way. So, yes, we have both tendencies within us, so it requires uh, purification. Did you have a question? Did you have a question? With Chaitanya Mongol, says that um, Nityananda was traveling. He visited different parts of the world. <clears throat> is it that he went to different countries or different parts of the world, or is it more of an expression for him touring, visiting all of India? Uh, not so much that he went to different parts of the world, but he went to the holy places within. India, so he went to Vrindavan in many places, he went to Pandapur in Maharashtra, that's where he met his spiritual master. Of course, Jagannath Puri was there also, so he was traveling around India, he's explained in this way. So yes, Nityananda Prabhu was in many different places, um, and then ultimately he joined Mahaprabhu in Navadvip, and then when Mahaprabhu went, took sannyas, and went to Jagannath Puri, then that time Nityananda Prabhu also went to Jagannath Puri and then the Lord went to South India and when the Lord went to South India then Nityananda Prabhu went to Bengal. So he was uh, in many many different places, Nityananda Prabhu, but wherever he went, Je Jane Payatane Kare Premadhan, he gave the love of Prema, pure love, through the process of Harinam Sankirtan. So that is our if we want to uh, please Nityananda Prabhu, today we are thinking about how we can please Nityananda Prabhu. So it means to be in the spirit of Sankirtan. To somehow or other find some way to connect people to the holy name of Krishna. To somehow become very, very concerned about the world. And to somehow make our life all about service. Because if we try to be happy, it will never work. But if you try to serve, then everything works. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj says in the seventh canto of the Bhagavatam, Sukhaya dukha mokshaya sankalpa iha karmina sadapnoti haya dukham anihaya sukhavrita. He makes an amazing statement. One is happy in this world so long he doesn't endeavor for happiness. The moment you begin endeavoring for happiness, that's when your distress begins. So it means whoever is in the mood of being a servant, whoever is in the mood of helping others, whoever is in the mood of trying to bring happiness to others, awaken bhakti within others, that person will factually be the most blissful person. And that's the mood of Nityananda. And therefore we're praying, Ha Ha Prabhu Nityananda, Premananda Sukhi, Kripa Balokana Koro, Ami Boradoki. I'm very miserable. But you are always Premananda Sukhi, absorbed in the happiness of love. So bestow that upon me. And how do we receive that benediction? By being in the mood of Nityananda Prabhu, who is always in a mood of giving. So we must be very, very generous. The Sankirtan movement is all about generosity. The devotees are always finding a way to be generous. Like when I joined the temple, then once we were at petrol station, so I was filling up the car and then it got to 60 pounds. So I took the cap out and the devotee said, no, no, one more, one P more. He said, no, 60 pounds, done. We got 60 pounds. Then he says, put one P more. I said, why? He said, because the petrol uh, station, they won't charge you for an extra penny and that way they donate one penny to the Sankirtan movement. So I thought like, <laughs> I never thought about it like that, you know? <laughs> so that was interesting because I saw that the devotees were always in the mood of how to engage others, how to bring people closer to Krishna, to Gauranga, to Nityananda. And so that's really uh, the meaning actually on this day, to somehow follow the Sankirtan spirit of Nityananda Prabhu 
who, yes, went to Jagai Madai. No one else wanted to go. Not even Haridas Thakur wanted to go. Haridas Thakur said, forget it, I'm not going, you go. You're mad, I'm not going with you. Nityananda said, no, 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 even them, everyone. Because if we can get them, then that means we can get everyone. Because he wanted everyone. So the devotees, uh, you know, we must work very hard in the spirit of Sankirtan to try and share Krishna consciousness and then we get the mercy of Nityananda. Um, so that's what our life is all about. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. He's going to stop up with the key. Yeah. We'll have Arti.